is the uh, very old loot bag hurdy gurdy with the lid off. A rare chance to get a look inside. This is only the bags of muck and dirt that came out. As you can see, there's no vertical underneath the back brace. Normally, there would be. You can see it there clearly on this side. That's to stop the bars from pushing in. So it seems weird that the uh, this one, which is the job of holding the crank, that's this pin here. When you turn the handle, the wheel is resting on the inside there, and it's passing straight through this one here. So I don't understand why that's got the upright and the other doesn't. But there appears to be no evidence that there ever was one. Let's see. Okay. It feels flat enough. There's no residue of glue or nothing on the bottom here. This old wheel is made of beech. As you can see, it's riddled with woodworm. Nice octagonal shaped iron. If you look at it there on the left hand side, as it goes in underneath, it fans out bigger to go into a square into the wheel. See it there. And then the right hand side, it gets bigger to stop it against the uh, tail block here. It acts as a stop. So it's basically jammed between the bar here and the front. The other one. So nice little instrument. And here you can see the loot ribs. Somebody's put nails in it, which obviously weren't original. You can see them clearly there at the end. But every so often here and here, see there are nails. Beautiful decoration uh, strap up. Now we'll proceed over to the other side of the shop and look at the other piece.